As your trusted training and adoption team, we have seen it all and we've heard it all. A question we frequently get asked when an organization is moving to Microsoft Teams is, can I use Teams to replace my intranet? Our answer is always the same. Of course, Teams can do just about anything. Let's look at how you can set up an intranet for your organization. Step one is to get planning. I used my OneNote notebook to create a table that helped me to visualize the types of channels that I'm going to need based on the information that I wanted to house in the internet, as well as the tools that I want to offer my employees. Next, I added a row that helped me document the types of applications or tabs that I'm going to need to present that content to the employee, helping to keep it organized and easy to use. Lastly, I added a third row all about channel moderation. Channel moderation manages who can create new posts in the post tab, as well as who can reply to those posts. In some channels, only owners can create new content and reply to existing content. In other channels, I've allowed members the ability to create and or reply to posts. I then created a visual representation of this chart that I will place in the general channel of my intranet so employees can download a copy and use it as a quick reference guide as they familiarize themselves with the new company intranet workspace. Step two is to get building. From the Teams application view, I'll select Join and Create Team. You can either create an org-wide team if it's available to you, which will automatically include all company employees. You can also create a public team that's going to allow all employees within the organization to find and join your company intranet. With the workspace created, you can start to add your channels. I determined in my OneNote notebook that I needed four additional channels in my intranet. When channels get added to a team's workspace, they're placed in alphabetical order. If you'd like to create a specific order for your channels to appear in, you will have to number your channels as you add them. Some organizations will add a specific channel for each department within the company. If this is something that you'd like to do, you can create a private channel for each department and add the employees within that department to that private channel. Only those employees will have access to that channel. As a reminder, you can create up to 30 private channels in a Teams workspace. If needed, you can contact your IT admin to help you set up the required permission levels of this workspace. This means you can disable a member's ability to create or upload documents into the Files tab. Step three is to start to develop those channels based off of your plan from step one. I've gone ahead and completed my intranet, so let's take a look at my channels and the tabs that I've added. In the Announcements and Events channel, we have our initial post that outlines the types of contents and tabs the user will find in this channel. I've pinned this announcement to make sure that employees always have quick and easy access to it. A team owner is able to create new organization-wide announcements here, such as holiday closures or company news. Members within the channel can only view and reply to existing posts created by the owner, just in case they would like to ask a question or open up a conversation around a specific announcement or event. Members cannot create new posts within this channel. We've used the Channel Calendar application to create an events calendar for the organization. All calendar items for the company can be placed on this calendar from virtual meetings and conferences, organization-wide training and webinars, important milestones, or organization-wide dates and deadlines. Since this is a channel meeting, all employees can join any virtual events from this channel. An employee can open the event from the channel calendar and add it to their personal calendar if they want to attend the virtual event 
or to simply add the important date to their calendar. Next, we have the Employee Lounge. As we saw with our previous channel, we've started off with our initial post to outline the types of content and tabs the employee is going to find in this channel. We've also pinned it to make sure our employees have quick access to it later. Since the Employee Lounge is a space created specifically for the employee, all members of the channel are able to create new posts as well as reply to posts. Employees are free to open up conversation around any work appropriate topic they'd like and get social with one another to promote teamwork. The next post that was added to this channel is an employee satisfaction survey that I created using Microsoft Forms. I've attached the link within the post. The surveys have been made anonymous so an employee will not be identified in their response. We've also pinned this post in the channel just so employees can access it as often as they wish. This channel also includes a job postings tab, which was made with the Microsoft Bulletins application. An employee is able to access and review all current job postings from throughout the organization. This link here will allow them to open a new email and forward their resume and cover letter to apply for the role. Using the Microsoft Employee Ideas application, we were also able to include a tab that allows our employees to voice and share their ideas on how to make our organization a better place to work. Employees can also review the ideas within this tab and vote on their favorites. Next, we have our Learning and Development channel, which focuses on gaining knowledge and acquiring new skills to further the growth of your employees. Channel moderation has been turned on here, which will prevent members from posting and replying within this channel. As always, we started with an announcement that helps our employees understand the types of content that they'll find in this channel. We used a wiki tab to create a resource list for employees. Here they can access tools and development resources that are available from the organization. We've also added a listing of organization-supported training courses that an employee can complete to help them develop or acquire new skills. We've added a tab that allows an employee to complete their monthly, quarterly, and yearly training or compliance courses from within the intranet in Teams. We've linked a stream channel that houses our videos for our organization, but if your organization uses an LMS system, Many of these applications integrate into Teams as a tab as well. If your company offers a career development tool that uses a web browser to connect, it can be added as a URL tab in this channel, ensuring everything an employee needs for their development and for positive career growth can be accessed from this channel. Lastly, and some may argue most importantly, we've added our Policies and Procedures channel. All the organization's current policies and procedures are found in this channel alongside any required forms that an employee may need to fill out. When we select the Files tab, you can see that I've made these folders read-only. You can work with your IT department to assist with the required access controls needed to secure the channels as well as the content within them. Since these folders are read-only, the files within them are also read-only. This means the members can review the information on the item but cannot edit or update this official work document. Within the Policies and Procedures folder, we created a Forms folder. This folder can house process request forms and HR forms, as well as any other forms your organization requires. 
If a member has to complete one of these forms as part of a process, they will have the ability to download a copy to their computer in order to complete it. The original document will remain unchanged. And there you have it, a dynamic intranet built right into the Microsoft Teams environment, helping you to get more done without leaving the application. There is so much that Teams offers, so if you need it and you can dream it, in Teams we can build it. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel and we'll see you next week. At CCC, we did not get here alone, and neither should you.